What is performance engineering? Let's first understand what is engineering. Engineering is about designing and building solutions. Specifically coming from the software line, we're looking at designing software, building it and putting it to production. Generally what we do when a software requirement is in place is we ask for requirements, we focus on the functionality, we design to make that functionality happen, we then write the code to make that happen and we put it to production. And then we land up finding issues. Why is my software not scaling up? That's because you forgot a very, very important aspect of engineering, which is performance engineering. Unless you know what are the non-functional requirements, how are you going to build your software to do that? Let's take a typical transportation requirement and parallel it with performance engineering in software. There is a requirement to transport from point A to point B. How would you do the transport? We have various choices. I could use a bicycle and move. I could use a motorbike. I could use a truck. I could use a bus. I could use a car. I could use an airplane or I could use a space shuttle. The fundamental thing that we need to keep in mind is what is the source and what is the destination for which the transportation requirement is and then what am I going to move? What is the payload? If the requirement is that I need to move from this room into another room or from this location to another location which is 100 meters away, maybe I don't need any solution, I can just walk. But if it is about going a few kilometers, then maybe I might consider any of these modes. Then comes the question about what is my cost? What is my timelines? And then you identify which is the right solution. If I have to transport from location A to location B, wherein location A and location B are two sides of the earth, then a bicycle may be a viable option, but it's going to take a long time to go around. You might want to then consider, should I use a ship or should I use an airplane? If I'm going to consider an airplane or ship, cost is one and time is another. Of course, it's going to be cheaper if you use a ship and not an airplane. But time, if you want to ship it in time, then you use an airplane. If it's about a person to be moved from one location to another, you're going to use an airplane, which is a passenger aircraft. Whereas if it is some goods that you want to transport, then it could be sending it through cargo. All these transportation modes that I've talked about use metal, use rubber, use fuel. So the building blocks are the same, but then they are designed and built, which comes as part of engineering and keeping in mind what is going to be the payload and keeping in mind the cost and keeping in mind the timeline in which the task has to happen, we get all these different transports. It is not that the metal itself is a problem or rubber itself is a problem or fuel by itself is a problem. How you use it is where the challenge lies. When it comes to software, it is the same. You might use Oracle database. You might use any programming environment. For various reasons, you choose your technology. But how do you design? How do you engineer? And how do you build? And how you deploy? will result in the performance that you get. In general, we get functional requirements. It is important we also engineer a solution keeping in mind the non-functional requirements. Now what could be non-functional requirement? To give a few examples, if I am talking about building an application, may I know how many users will be accessing it concurrently? Then, how much of data would be present in that database once it is built into production? How will users access it? When I look at an overall performance perspective, geolocations, meaning where is my application going to be hosted and where is my user going to come from, will result in the network aspect to be considered. So all these have to be considered and then what is going to be my workload? 
because your software could have hundred or thousand different features in terms of transactions that you can do which ones will be accessed at which point of time so there could be thousand different use cases that can be used all thousand may not be put to use simultaneously there may be a case where people log in at the beginning of the day they perform transactions of different types during the day and they log out at the end of the day if you're talking about an eight hour work but if you're looking at a global deployment then there's a 24 by 7 uptime and you need to work on modeling your workload to then identify how is my application going to be used how is my data going to reside and now you know your payload you know how it is going to be used and now you have the problem at hand not just about the functionality but also about performance and then you build after performing a design which keeps in mind performance in every phase of the software development life cycle. You start with requirements where you get non-functional requirements which talks about performance and security. Then you go into design where you look at what are the various options in which I can do this given the background of the non-functional requirement. Then you build it, you code it, you develop it to meet that and then you test it. In all these phases, you're going to keep your non-functional requirement also in mind meaning you will all through keep track of the number of users the number of concurrent transactions the number of rows in these tables and once you have that in mind then you're going to look at what are the possible ways in which I can engineer the solution to give the best performance and then when you go to production you get what you thought it will work like otherwise it could land up that you wanted to ship from point A to point B. That is the requirement you got. And you brought about a spaceship wherein the requirement was just to move something from point A to point B, which was 100 kilometers away. A spaceship will not necessarily deliver it faster than maybe a truck.